In Cyberpunk 2077, there are different skill categories that players can develop to enhance their character's abilities. These skills progress by playing the game and cater to different playstyles. In this video, we're going to break down how exactly you progress each of these skills and what is required to continue to upgrade them. One such category is the Headhunter skill, which evolves around the art of neutralizing enemies in a stealthy manner. This skill progresses as players achieve silent kills, perform takedowns, or land headshots with specific specific weapons. As players level up their headhunter skill, they gain bonuses that improve their overall stealth capabilities. At the pinnacle of this skill, at level 60, players can even recharge the optical camo cyberware by using cool related abilities like focus and dead eye modes, or by eliminating enemies with thrown weapons. On the other hand, the Netrunner skill is dedicated to hacking and quick hacks. Players earn Netrunner skill XP by executing quick hacks, successfully breaching systems, or eliminating adversaries using quick hacks or smart weapons. Advancing in this skill category provides benefits such as faster RAM recovery, increased quick hack damage, and quicker smart weapon lock-on. Once players reach level 60 in Netrunner skill, they gain access to overclocking, a powerful ability that reveals nearby by enemies and allows for quick hacks through walls and cover. This is my personal favorite. For those who prefer a more agile and mobile playstyle, the Shinobi skill is designed for them. Shinobi focuses on achieving kills while remaining highly mobile, including actions like sliding, dodging, dashing, and use unique cyberware and melee attack. At level 60 of the Shinobi skill, players unlock a significant bonus having Zendevastin active increases their crit chance by 40% and completely removes the stamina cost for movement. Alternatively, players who prefer direct combat and brute strength can hone their solo skills. These skills improve by neutralizing enemies in straightforward combat using heavy weapons, melee weapons, or abilities such as Quake and Savage Sling. The rewards for developing solo skills include enhanced health and carrying capacity. At level 60, players can enjoy extended berserk cyberware effects, increased health regeneration from finishers, and improved finisher executions. Lastly, the Engineer skill caters to those who thrive on technical prowess. These skills receive a boost from actions like upgrading gear, disassembling weapons, using combat gadgets, wielding tech weapons, and mastering technical ability related perks. The advantages of investing in Engineer skills include improved armor, more effective combat gadgets, enhanced tech weapon effects, and increased cyberware capacity. When players reach level 60 in this skill category, they gain the occasional ability to release an EMP blast while in fury mode, adding an electrifying twist to their combat arsenal. And that is a quick breakdown of how to advance each of these skill trees. If this video helped you out, be a chum and leave a like on it, subscribe for more like this, and stop by the live stream sometime. Thanks for watching.